if you have a stream deck, setting up a multi-action button is an absolute life changer. With this channel, I really want to help create easier ways to do things for live streaming videos and podcasting. How easy is it if you just have to push one button and multiple things happen? So in this video, I'm going to show you and walk you through how to create a multi-action button. And my favorite thing about this is you really only have to set it up the once and then you're good to go. So let me show you the stream deck dashboard. This is what your thing looks like. You can even see the buttons that I have for my live stream in particular. So let me show you one example and then we'll walk through how to actually do this. But my AFK, if I go to go use the restroom, grab coffee while I'm streaming, I have three things that happen when I push that one button. The first is it turns off my camera, it mutes my mic, and it brings up a message on my screen that says that I'll be, be right back, I'm getting coffee. And then when I get back from my break, I just have to actually press it again, and it brings my camera back up, unmutes my mic, and takes away that AFK message. Let's look at how to actually set this up. So the absolute very first thing that you're gonna do when you set this up is go over to the side panel on the right and you're gonna actually find underneath the stream deck section where it says multi-action. Then you can put that into a spot and that creates your initial multi-action button. You can change the icon and give it a title, whatever you need to do. I will say the other major multi-action button that I use is for getting everything open for my stream before I even go live. So for that, it opens up stream elements, it opens up OBS, it opens up my music from Pretzel Rocks, the, the web page, and it opens up everything that I need to even get started with my stream. So these can vary. There are a ton of different applications that you can use to open this up. It's not just while you're live, you can do web pages, applications on your computer, whatever it is that you need to, you get into the multi-action and we'll just call this test. And all you have to do is figure out what it is that you want. And you're going to add that. If you want it to open something from your computer, you can go under the system and open. You drag that over and you're going to enter whatever it is that you want it to open. So for example, let's say you want to open up OBS when you hit this button, you just find it in your files, then you can add that in. If you wanted to also open a web page along with that at the same time, again, under system website, and then all you have to do is enter the full URL. So when you're on that page, you can just copy and then paste that in here. Again, you can title it whatever you want. And there are a ton of actions over on the right side, basically any of these you can add in. If you want it from the Twitch studio, like mute and unmute, starting or ending a recording. So for example, if during your live stream, part of your live stream, you want to record as a local file, maybe you're gonna put that specific part up on YouTube later. You can have it just actually record when you push that one button along with everything else that it's doing. Even within OBS, you can select the record stream source. So that would be like what I showed with my AFK button where the camera source from within OBS was toggled on and off when I push my AFK button. Now, if you did want a second page for like the AFK, like I showed you, you do actually have to put in a slightly different variation of the multi-action button. And that is underneath where it says multi-action, it actually says multi-action switch. That is where you will get those two pages and you can create one page that does something and a second page that when you push that button again, it's going to undo or reset some of those actions. Thank you so much for watching. If this was helpful for you, then I would love if you could just give this that quick thumbs up so that others can find it as well. You know, if you're thinking about streaming or maybe you're even wondering what other resources you could use as a streamer, would definitely recommend you checking out this video next on my top three resources that are completely free to use for streamers.